to another commentary done by Diggity. Upper right in corner, we have Art of Turtle starting as the yellow Zerg. Bottom right in corner, we have Jedi One starting as the black Protoss. This is going to be on Butter. And this is going to be the first match of the winner's match of BSL Season 14 Hostile League Round of 16 Group B. And Jedi won against Art of Turtle, or sorry, versus previous match, versus Ages, showing some really creative. Well, I, I'm not sure if I want to call it creative or old school, but basically going for non-standard meta Protoss style play. Going for one base Corsair Reaver, which is a very, very old school style and very atypical in the meta. And going for a two gate opener. And let's see if he opts to do that versus Art of Turtle. I honestly feel like that might be the better option, especially seeing Art of Turtle's builds earlier on. Currently, it looks like maybe the pylon's at sort of a position where there could be a forge, could go for a natural expansion. Could be also that Jedi One wants to play heads up game one just to see where he's tested against Art of Turtle and play from there. Art of Turtle opening up with a nine pool. To potentially get aggressive, which hopefully we'll see if that forces a forge or not. I think it might be a forge play because we don't see the uh, additional probe right there down the line. But against the nine pool, you do want to get that probe down to plop that forge sooner rather than later. Jedi one, yeah, might want to scramble in a hurry. And Al has confirmed the pool, so we'll see if he go if he opts for forge. Yes, and he's gonna need to get those two cannons down asap. Might even want to go, yeah, create some disruption in the meantime. It's helpful to have this probe blockade those Zerglings. Already took some base damage there. Artificial wandering as though he wants to go ahead and put a hatchery trying to re-engage. But he doesn't have the minerals for it. Six Zerglings in production. No gas yet from Artificial. I'm almost wondering if he's going to go for eight. A pylon blockade, which is, that's risky. So that's going to delay this cannon a smidge. Does need a second cannon. Looks like he's holding off on the second cannon. There's the second cannon now. Very risky overall. Now it looks like that drone's just going to ignore the natural expansion. Potentially go for the third immediately. That probe's going to confirm it. The Zerglings, let's see if they test the front. Overlord's not in position to see how many cannons have warped in yet. This cannon's already going to be there. It looks like there's eight Zerglings. And only eight Zerglings careening towards this front door. First cannon's up, but this is an easy run by here as well. Because Jedi One not pulling probes, not putting the gateway in the way. He's going to drop that Nexus first. And I wonder, Art of Turtle going to go for it? Because this is a corner he can he can push and get those Zerglings into the main. We saw him do that previously. Okay, now the gateway in place. So lost opportunity. Probe still trying to get some disruption. Another pylon blockade. Trying to delay that. So nice. So Jedi One just being uh, frustrating now. A little bit of a delayed economy for both players. Zerglings coming back. Additional Zerglings being produced as well. So that pylon does get cancelled. So 33 minerals back. Not sure if that's worth it or not. Hatchery being placed. Extractor now there. Probe wandering around the main. And I like what Art of Turtle's done. Well, I was going to say, put himself in a position to go ahead and deny information to Jedi One. And there we go. Information denied. He's already got an Overlord hanging out at the natural, or sorry, at the main. Sees the cybernetics core timing. Sees the assimilator. Another probe's wandering out. And this is the thing I have not seen Art of Turtle do, which I like that other Zerg players do. Which is, yeah, put his opponent in the dark. Maybe op potentially to go for 973. Although having the distance third makes it a little bit more challenging to do that because you can see the probes at the drones. The drones have to transfer at a further location. The Zergling's breaking off pursuit, so not opting to deal this probe scout. You know what would be kind of tricky is that, okay, so Lair's mutating here. Artichurl trying to hide that timing, but this is also risky because if Jedi One breaks out. This is a hard-to-defend expansion. It also suggests we're going to see yeah, more 4-hatch play. So 4th hatch now being placed from Art of Turtle. He's going to have to shell up heavily and be very, very diligent about defending that. Jedi 1 skipping. This is... So Art of Turtle pulling out that Overlord a bit unnecessarily. Because this is going to be a Citadel of a Dune. And no Stargate. 
which also uh, also potentially could open up, and I don't know that Arc Turtle's going to have an opportunity to capitalize on it. Zergling's able to pick off one Zealot. Looks like they aren't able to pick off another. Did that probe get... Probe's still alive. Yeah, and still able to confirm a lot of information. Critically confirming no second gas. Also going to get a good look at the drone saturation at the main. But no Zealots coming out to do any sort of assault, but it looks like Arter Turtle just wants to sit back to that four, move back to five hatch play. I almost wish that he go for, so the layers here, I almost wish he'd go for a Spire play right here, because you can see there's no cannons. Really could punish Jedi 1 with it. Two Zealots kind of wandering out, two additional gateways plopping down, and yeah, I don't think Jedi 1's going to be punished for the lack of at-home defense, the lack of Corsair. Instead, going to plop down, looks like two gateways, produce zealots, get zealot leg speed, wait for plus one weapons, and march out from that point of the match. The zerglings taking a bit of free damage and marching their way across. And also because the layers at this location, Arda Turtle does have to play even more turtley than usual. So this might play out for Jedi 1 overall, because right now what might happen is he could just produce a lot of zealots, get that zealot leg speed, doesn't even need plus one weapons, honestly. Could march right up here, focus down the lair, and that would be crippling to Art of Turtle. But if Art of Turtle, he's got this Spire here, if he opts to go Mutalisk rather than Scourge here, he does have a good amount of gas. I really want to see it. He's got the gas saved. Let's see if he saves the Larva as well. Oh, I really want to see Scourge. The Zealot's starting to move out. Zealot Leg Speed's finished. They're making their way to the upper left-hand corner. If we see Mutalisk's Looks like Zerglings instead. Just Zerglings being produced. No Mutalisks. No Mutalisks. Damn it. So it's just going to be Zergling defense here for Arter Turtle. Luckily for him, they were making their way to the natural expansion rather than pushing their way up to the upper left-hand corner. But this is going to be a lot of Zerglings. Still a lot of gas capped. Now are we seeing... Okay, we're seeing one Mutalisk right there. But still, Zelt able to get into the natural. Going to do a lot of damage here. Those drones huddled up. The Zerglings... In small numbers filtering in, which means they're not... I mean, against this grouping of Zealots, it's not going to do a lot. Still don't see Mutalisks in flight. The Zealots turning around using... The gap between the natural and the main of Arda Turtle against him. Battle drone coming off the line with the Mutalisk. Looks like it's grouped in a control group with that Mutalisk. So one drone going to get picked off. The Zealot attack looks like it's going to be cleaned up otherwise. And Spire's confirmed. It looks like it's going to get some additional economic disruption. Nice drones fighting to defend the line. The Overlord finally back in, confirming, okay, there's just one Stargate. Now the cannon's being plopped down in a hurry. But after all of that, the natural expansion is still fairly exposed. But Zealots sneaking up to the upper left-hand corner now, but not in large numbers. So more drones getting picked off here. Arter Turtle's still going to be a good position once he defends this, though. The Zealot's sneaking to that back corner. Because, yeah, he's lost a lot of drones, but he's honestly near even in the drone count, which is usually a great place for Zerg. He's got these five Mulesks up. I want to see more Mulesks. More Zealots marching into the natural expansion. Jedi 1 everywhere, pinning these Mulesks, potentially buying himself some time to get sufficient Corsairs and Defense Force up otherwise, but that's a lot of units to expend. These Zerglings hate this hatchery. Die, mother. Something along those lines. Eight Mutalisks. Making their way around. Finally, a cannon being placed at the natural expansion. This is, yeah, and I think with these Zealots, they're going to make another run, potentially, at the upper left-hand corner. This is a ton of hatcheries all of a sudden. So we got six hatcheries and an evolution chamber. Is that just five, actually? No, there's six. Hydro Sten being plopped down as well. Four Zealots. Do they have plus one weapons now? They do have plus one weapons. And these Mutalisks are completely out of position now to defend it. The Corsair count, I believe, has been growing. Yeah. So Jedi 1 doing some nice distractionary tactics, just walking right up into the natural, or sorry, into the third. The Mutalisks trying to make their way across, but here's the thing they got to choose now. Are you going to defend the natural, or are you going to defend that third base? Because these are the only defense units that Arda Turtle has out. And this is that moment I was talking about that evolution chamber going to go down but this is if this layer goes down that would be a big loss the mutalisk right now distracted dealing with the zealots as they're making way to the main but if these zealots get a move on 
and focus down the lair, that would be a critical blow. Heart of Turtle still in a decent economic position. It looks like the Zelt's chasing down these drones. That's unfortunate because, again, Hydro's being built on position. I think they might have been able to tack down that lair. And that would have been game right there, I think. Mutalisks cleaning up the rest of the Zealots. Heart of Turtle, despite all of this disruption, still keeping a decent drone count. It's just he hasn't been able to mine for a lot of this. Cleaned that up, but now there's sufficient Corsairs to fight off that Mutalisk attack force. There's more Zealots, some High Templar in position. So Jedi 1 now waiting on Sidestorm, but in a good position in the mid-game. Art of Turtle still has a strong economy. Let's see if he starts moving that. These High Templar are still easy targets for these Mutals. The Mutals looking for units to pick off. Yeah, now engaging the Corsairs. And there's no Scourge to really brush these Corsair back. So these Mutalists taking some damage. There's Scourge being built in the background. Looks like there's some Hydralisks to maybe engage this. Zealots marching out as well. Looks like they're going to go up to the upper left. The Hydralisks are streaming out to deal with the Corsair in a bunch. But this is this could be disastrous. If these Zealots make their way again to the upper left-hand corner, take out that lair. Corsair are picking off these Overlords midfield. And yeah, I think Jedi 1 is thinking the same thing I'm thinking. He's like, okay, I'm going to move up the Corsair. I'm going to move up the Zealots. I've got some good size Storm. You focus down this lair. That is devastating. Hydralisk attack force being grouped up from Art Turtle. He's switching it on to macro mode. The Mutalisks may be fighting High Templar, though. Exposed. The Corsair is making their way back across. Size Storm being expended. All of the Mutalisks getting obliterated. Still two High Templar remain. And there, it looks like there's at least... There's a good amount of storm left in them as well. So now it is going to be a difficult defense for Arbitral in the upper left-hand corner. And it's going to be a critical defense. Has a decent SimCity, but Psystorm doesn't care about your SimCity. The Zealots marching in, Psystorming behind them on top of the reinforcements. Now let's see if he powers down that lair. Looks like instead he's focusing on the Hydralisks. or not microing these Zealots at all. The Corsair wandering across looking for it. Wow, finding a lot of Overlord targets. So despite this, despite the lack of focus down of the lair, the Zealots are still overwhelming. They have plus two weapons, highly upgraded. The Corsairs are obliterating Overlords. And regardless, it looks like Jedi 1 is going to take the match. So Jedi 1... I don't want to call it an orthodox play, but playing really sharp, I feel like, in this match. Looking strong. Chewing through Zergs today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.